What a beautiful evening it is here in Curaçao. This island lit up so nicely by the lights. The MC enjoying it. Everyone's been enjoying it. Everyone's been getting a sweat on as well. The fifth and final event here at SCL Curaçao is the loading one. Neil Sabe first. First time we've seen him today. And he's up against Sean O'Hagan. O'Hagan down in 10th place. Neil Sabe bottom of the rankings. O'Hagan gets the first of the barrels on there. All 100 kilos. Oh, Hagen struggling with the second. Have to leave them upright though, which is why O'Hagan's sorting that first one out. Last one to go. Neil Sabe trying to get the first one up there. He is Honduras' strongest man. And that's it for O'Hagan. He does the trio. Still battling away, Sean O'Hagan. He does the full set there in 46-56, while the Honduran Neil Sabe managed one in 38-48. On to Mika Toro, who hasn't had a great day so far. He's in 11th place. Oleg Silka in eighth. And we're underway. Toro on the left. Silka motoring here on the right. Silka going for his second one. Almost hobbling forward with it. No issues though. Last one for each now, as they look to finish their day with a good time. Around 42 seconds there for Silka, who wins this individual duel. Toro dropping it there right at the last. And Silka slapping him on the back, saying, get your act into gear. Toro finishes up now. So 43-40 for Oleg Silka. Ever the happy chappy. Mika Toro finished in 58-50. Now Will Baggett, who's had an up and down day so far, looking to finish on a high. And he'll go alongside Irving Toots. These two in seventh and sixth, respectively. And it's the man in sixth who's well ahead here. Toots with the first up there. So much energy exerted already today, though. Baggett finding it really tough. Toots with his second. And I think Baggett was always happy to flip it there to the finish, but, but he's being told he has to carry it instead. Toots is done. Made the three look easy. I'm not sure Baggett will do it here. He bows out. His day is done. Great time. He's in first place for now. Will it last? We'll see. 35.28 seconds. Will Baggett, though, didn't manage a single barrel. Jonathan Cotton is next to go here, the American, and he will compete alongside Alex Monan. Seven and a half points off the lead, Monan. Just trying to secure a podium place now with the title realistically out of sight. And they both get the first one up there. Moonen wobbling up to the platform here as best he can. And the second on. One last effort now from the Dutchman. 
Cotton only a place behind him in fifth. And only a point behind him at that. It's very, very close. Merlin taking a break halfway down. Merlin really struggling to carry it those last few metres. He knows he's almost there. He's determined to finish this, as is Jonathan Cotton. But the time has beaten them. Alex, these barrels don't look easy. Did this cost you a third place? Yes, it did. And that's it, what I can say about it. Um, you look angry. I am. I am. Yourself. I am. Now, well, I did everything I could. And this is big things. It's slippery, short arms, and it just, uh, what can I say? I lost it. Still, you love Curacao, yeah? <laughs> yeah. That's uh, and this positive at Curacao. You did great. You. Little consolation for Alex Moonen, but he always says that grip events are ones which cost him two barrels in the end for the Dutchman, likewise for Jonathan Cotton. So it all comes down to this. The battle for first place, Dainis Zagaris against Kelvin Duralta. Ratajkowski didn't do any barrels. So it's a straight shootout, here we go. Coming into this, Zagaris had 39 points. It was 37 and a half for Duralta. No time to lose here for either of these athletes. And it's Duralta that has the lead. There's his second. A first ever SCL title within his sights now. He was beaten in his homeland by Alex Murnan. But can he beat the Titan here in Curaçao? The home from home for the Dutchman. He gets it on there. And Duralta looks as though he's won the title. Danny Segueris gets his on, but his expression tells you everything you need to know because he has failed at the last hurdle. Kelvin Duralta there with a time of 38.43. Segueris 44.09, and that's enough to lose top spot. First, though, the results of that last event. Irving Toots taking top spot with Duralta crucially just behind him, but Zagaris finishing in fourth.